We're not thrilled about the skyrocketing cost of gas. A new poll from Cars.com shows 68% of people will stay at home or nearby, and about half of them would carpool to save money on gas. And what is the Biden administration doing to bring some relief at the pump? Absolutely nothing. One of Joe Biden's top advisors is actually defending the high cost of gas in one of those saying the quiet part out loud moments. Listen. What do you say to those families who say, listen, we can't afford to pay four eighty five a gallon for months, if not years. This is just not sustainable. Well, what you heard from the president today was a clear articulation of the stakes. This is about the future of the liberal world order, and we have to stand firm. But at the same time, what I'd say to that family and to Americans across the country is you have a president and administration that is going to do everything in its power to blunt the, those price increases and bring those prices down. Uh-oh. Going to Charlie Hurt. Charlie, will you please tell our Fox viewers this <laughs> coded definition, liberal world order. Yeah, this is not coded. This is, like, <laughs> right out there. This is, no, this is the utopia Democrats have been promising us for decades, and it's here, and it stinks. And, and, and the thing that really, uh, I think, is a missed opportunity for them is, you know, the idea of, like, getting electric vehicles or all... There's a lot of optimistic, fun stuff about all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but bludgeoning the American people into submission is not the way you do that in a free country. Mm -hmm. we, we, you know, we do the right thing. You know, like Winston Churchill said, Americans always do the right thing after trying every other conceivable option. And that's true. But you don't get us someplace by beating the living day daylights out of us. There, there have to be incentives. And, you know, Anita, yeah. what Charlie says... I mean, we're, we're celebrating our, 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 our nation's yeah. birthday. And the liberal war order, they're saying, we know what's better for you. We're going to tell you what's good for you, and you're going to take it. Yeah, it's kind of like disciplining your kids, yeah. right? But, but Americans are taking it, right? I mean, you know... Until November. Yeah, until November. <laughs> so another, another uh, exchange that got less attention than that one, you know, Biden was asked when he was overseas by a New York Times reporter, how long are Americans going to put up with these high gas prices to pay this war premium? And Biden says as long as it takes. And Americans are putting up with it. I mean, you know, we see Americans protest about so many things, social justice, Mm -hmm. George Floyd, abortion, you name it. I think, you know, where are the protests about the gas prices and inflation? Mm -hmm. Well, I answer and, you that. Yeah. Because there are so many people, I come from the Midwest, and I come from the heartland, and those kind of people that are suffering the most, people that do have to drive to work, they don't have public transit systems. People that are agriculture, they have to have tractors, they have to have machinery for their farms and their ranches. Those aren't the kind of people that take to the streets. Those are the kind of people that work hard. Those mm -hmm. are the kind of people that are being beaten to a pulp by this administration. They're not going to go out in the streets with their green hair and their unshaved arms <laughs> and protest Joe Biden. <laughs> because you know what? They don't have the luxury of doing that because they still got to work. Stop. They got to work so that we can eat. But See, that's the thing. And it's costing us more, and they're not seeing <laughs> that price increase is not going into their pockets. But then you have these liberal elitists on the coast sit there and lecture everybody about how they could just take a bus. I'm from South Dakota. You know how many buses we have getting to and fro? <laughs> not many. <laughs> let, me, let me follow up with yeah. you on, to with that, on Tommy on the issue of what's happening with these protest groups. There was a, a tweet that was put out by this group, this group that's. Uh, Apparently, it's going to deflate tires or commit some form of crime. And I think here's a tweet that says, the extinguisher strike, big news, tire extinguisher strike for the first time in nearly, in New York City, 40 SUVs disarmed in Upper East Side, the first of many. We have an American English leaflet rather than tire <laughs> on website. So you can, Goodness. so you can go to join us. Yeah. Let me ask you this. It seems to me that the Democrats will look the other way when it comes to crime. With these, when, in order to get their agenda across, they allow these people to commit these crimes, these petty crimes, in order to promote what they're trying to promote, which is uh, get out of your cars, get out of your SUVs, and then try to go electric. What do you say about that? Well, they've been emboldened. The summer 2020, summer of love riot season, showed people that if you believe you have the moral high ground, not if you have the moral high ground, if you believe <laughs> you have the moral high ground, mm -hmm. you can do whatever the heck you want to. And the Democrats are going to cheer for you. And then, you know what? They might even set up a campaign to break you out of jail, to, <laughs> to pay your bail. Can so I, that's the precedent that's been set. Can yeah. I make just a quick Please. public service announcement <laughs> to anybody that is slashing tires of SUVs and, and pickup trucks in New York City in green hair and unshaved legs or whatever? Um, don't go anywhere other than New York City to do that. Because if you go down to regular America, if you go down to, like, rural America and start slashing tires of pickup trucks or SUVs, 
it's not going to end well for yeah. you. It's going to be a very, very big problem for you. So just keep your protests to New York City. But you know, City. the funny thing about it is that this administration, this, this, this Department of Justice, have looked the other way. Yeah. Whenever there is Absolutely. Democratic sponsor criminal activity. When I say criminal activity, yeah. the protest, they look the other way with the Supreme Court justices. They're looking the other way when it comes to these SUV slashing their cars. It just seems to me that they basically encourage it by doing absolutely yep. nothing when it comes to prosecution. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.